Hi there everyone and welcome back to a brand new Game Maker 2 tutorial and today we're going to be looking at making your menu buttons more interactive so the user can kind of hover over it and it makes it more larger to look as if it's already selected as they're just about to click on it. So it's a very easy, easy thing to do and it won't take you guys long at all and you can apply it to all your buttons whether it be on the main menu or just anywhere in the game and you can also use the effect on other things if you're wanting it to increase. It's not just for menu buttons but first of all to get into this tutorial I've set up a main menu button so it's just a play game and it has the non-selected state and then the selected state or hover state so that's where I'm going to be using the mouse to hover over it. It is going to basically enlarge and I've also just set up a background for our room and in the room we just have a 1280 by a 720 room with the background. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Uh, just a nice room that we can have to put our button in. But the first thing we're going to do is do obj underscore play so we're going to create a play button and we're going to assign the sprite to the play button sprite and we're going to only event we need is a step event that is the only event we need and here we're going to do variables and calculations so basically um it's going to do all the calculations and assign the variables that are needed to do this effect so the first thing we're going to do is var range equals 12 now the range is basically the distance in pixels the mouse must be from the center of the object before the scaling begins so it has to be 12 pixels at least from the center before it has to begin and i think 12 is a good number you could of course make it bigger or you could make it zero where they literally have to be in the center of the object but i found from working on my own game that 12 is about a good scale to be at now the next variable we need is var min underscore scale equals one so that's just the smallest scale that the enlargement can go is one that is the smallest which is the standard so it's just the image scale basically and then we have to do var max scale is going to be equal to 1.05 and of course again with this one it's customizable and so is this one you guys can fiddle around with it in your own games and find out what works for you and of course we're going to do var mouse underscore hover um, is the distance to the point of mouse underscore x comma mouse underscore y so that's basically the distance that the mouse has to get to the x and y coordinates of the image and then we're going to do if it is lower than or equal to range so it's basically right on top of it for the next one we're going to do var goal underscore scale is equal to min underscore scale times not mouse underscore hover and that's going to be adding it to max underscore scale times mouse underscore hover and then the last variable we have to assign is var scale underscore speed is equal to 0 0.1 and that is everything we need to assign for this to work and the only other thing we have to do is apply the image index so now we have to do image underscore index equals mouse underscore hover image underscore x scale is equal to uh, alert uh, image underscore x scale comma goal underscore scale comma scale underscore speed we're pretty much going to do the same but just for image underscore y scale is equal to alert image underscore y scale comma goal underscore scale comma scale underscore speed and that is everything that you need for this to work all of this and the ranges, range you can change, the min scale you can change, the max scale you can change, and the scale speed you can change. And of course, guys, we're going to open up the room, put in the obj underscore play into the object. And when we launch the game, we have our little just basic box menu here. And if we hover over it, you can see that it kind of extends out, which is super cool. And it's really smooth and fluent because I'm recording on 60 FPS. So you guys can see how smooth that is. And of course, we can go back into the play object and make the max scale we could say 1.2 so if we launch this this is going to go super big and probably out of the room so yeah as you can see it works and one more tip make sure that your sprite is middle centered because if you do it where it's um top left which is the auto assign zero zero it's gonna not be in the room first actually it is in the room so if we do this when it's assigned to the zero zero origin it is going to go like to the right and if you guys want that if you want it to push into a certain direction that is completely up to you but personally i think it is best if you have it middle centered so when you launch the game and it's just in the room 
it pushes out from the center. Now another thing that I can show you is just, uh, if we go back into here, if we change, I believe if you change this to a smaller size, it should be a lot smaller. Yeah, so as you can see, it extends out big and then small. So it looks, a, it looks cool if you're trying to like, uh, click on a sign if you were hovering over a sign and you wanted to maybe make it bigger so you could read the text on it like a cool effect if you're reading a sign but of course guys like I said earlier it is completely customizable but the best I found is 12 1 and then 0 0.5 so when you launch the game I think personally this is the best one it's just a slight transition and it looks super cool but again if you guys enjoyed today's tutorial make sure to go and leave a like and of course subscribe and comment if you guys want to see any specific tutorials covering other stuff to do with menu buttons or menus in general and anything else in gamemaker 2 but again thank you so much for watching today's video i'll see you in the next one bye bye